Thanks for joining us tonight at 11. I'm Kelly Swoop. Jamie has the evening off. A shooting earlier today outside of Dunbar High School leaves an 18 year old student injured. And tonight Baltimore police are searching for the people involved. WMEO 2 News' is Ray Strickland joins us now live from BPD. It had to be terrifying for those students out there, Ray. Yeah, Kelly, it was a scary situation for Dunbar High School students with this shooting taking place just minutes before school ended. Tonight, police continue to investigate any leads that will help them find the person responsible. A large police presence outside of Dunbar High School in Baltimore after an 18-year-old student was shot. It frustrates all of us. We were all disgusted by it. The shooting happened around 321 p.m. and just minutes before school ended. What I asked everyone to do was pray for that young man, his family. But Officers blocking off this area outside of the gym and also near the front of the school as they processed evidence to help in the investigation. The chief of police for city schools says this happened when a group of students who were outside of the gym were approached by another group of people wearing hoodies. He says a person from that group then pulled out a gun and shot the 18 year old student in the leg. That student who hasn't been identified was taken to a hospital and is expected to be okay. We're reviewing all the cameras. We're working with our partners with John Hopkins and MTA police to see if they can review the cameras in the area. There's a lot of cameras out here, so hopefully we can identify somebody. And it's about conflict and the decision to solve it with gun violence. The prevalence of guns in our city and on our streets that shouldn't be there and their willingness to carry those guns and to bring them on school grounds and then their willingness and their decision to use those guns. This shooting comes after a violent weekend in Baltimore where seven people were killed. Mayor Brandon Scott once again expressing frustration about gun violence that continues to wreak havoc across the city. I'll be vigilant in going down and tracking down these individuals who saw it fit to be uh, so cowardly and, and hazardous to come on school grounds to shoot a student uh, right outside of the school building. This is something that as a city, as a community, we cannot accept. And police say it's unclear if the victim and the people responsible for the shooting knew each other or if they were students at Dunbar. That's something police will continue to investigate. Meanwhile, if you saw or heard anything, police say you're encouraged to give them a call. And remember, you can do so by calling Metro Crime Stoppers uh, and send a tip anonymously. Reporting live tonight in Baltimore, Ray Strickland, WMAR 2 News.